This next video will show you how to synthesize the RTL, the Verilog, just generated by the high level synthesis tool using Xilinx ISC. So from the screen we can see the RT, the Verilog code generated from the synthesis from the high level synthesis tool. Now before we can synthesize that, we need to create the logic synthesis script for Xilinx ISC. This can be done from within the high level synthesis tool using the logic script generator as shown in the, in, in the dialog window just opened. So in this case we have chosen IAC, we've chosen Xilinx FPGA and we are ready to generate the synthesis script. This will generate a tickle script for the high level synthesis for the uh, for IAC. Now we can see it has generated a red folder with a tickle script. This tickle script can now be passed to Xilinx X tickle shell utility which is located in the Xilinx installation directory in the binary directory and will, when called this utility will create a Xilinx project automatically. Now we can see from the screen the tickle script that this Xilinx utility now understands in order to create the Xilinx project. So these are all the commands needed by the Xilinx tool. Now once this is created we can then call Xilinx from within the high level synthesis tool or we can then call it from the out, from outside. Uh, just by calling it, it will start op it will open the Xilinx IAC program and import all the files, generate the project for the same FPGA chosen by the, um, when we did high level synthesis and then import all the RTL files. You see the very low code generated by the high level synthesis tool there. And we can then proceed to synthesize and then place in route and generate the bit file in case we want to download to an actual FPGA. Sizer finishes, we can look at the report and see how many lookup tables it has consumed, the number of DSP macros, block RAMs, and so on. synthesis tool is that it actually imports all the files generated by the logic synthesis tool by Xilinx and imports those directly into the high level synthesis project. It creates the user constraint file with the timing uh, constraints and all those files generated by the by ISC will also be imported into the high level synthesis tool including the reports and so on as we've shown now in the, in the window. So you can see all the files generated by Xilinx will be stored into this folder and also are able, we're able to uh, access those files from within the high level synthesis tool. We can see here again the place and route report, the synthesis report, and the timing report generated by Xilinx from within the high level synthesis tool. This concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop me a line again and hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.